if you follow a religion or a belief that tells you that if you look outside of that religion or belief that you are going to hell or you are doing something wrong or you will be outside of God's grace, ultimately your religion or belief is false. So most fundamental Abrahamic religions will have this caveat within the religion, be that fundamental Christianity, Islam or Judaism, that anything outside of the parameters of this single book uh, is a hellish place, a place where God is not, and that you will be away from God. You will not be with your God. God will turn away from you if you look anywhere else to make sense of your experience of God consciousness and your own heart and journey on this earth, right? And if you think about it, that caveat in religions is the nature of the devil itself. Think about it. The devil comes to divide, right? The devil comes to separate us from ourselves and each other, right? So now if my religion has a teaching that says only the people inside my religion who believe and think and do things exactly the way that I do in this very single way are with God, are the insiders, and everybody else are the outsiders, well, that, that teaching by definition is separationist. That teaching by definition polarizes. It separates me from my brother and sister my brother and sister from any other culture, belief system, or way of making sense of the world, right? So a lot of Abrahamic people or Abrahamic religions are not aware of the fact that your, if you have a hell doctrine in your religion, a separationist doctrine, meaning only this book and nothing else, you are ultimately worshiping the devil because that is the definition of separation. And not just that, but these doctrines, these fundamental doctrines cause something called religious trauma syndrome. This isn't something I'm making up. This is known by psychologists and psychotherapists across the world. There are actual quantifiable and verifiable consequences and symptoms for the human psychology, spirit and emotion when this kind of insider outsider doctrine is taught in religion because it first of all scares the bejesus out of a person to look or make sense of their lives in any other way to look at any other wisdom tradition and to be free in their expression and experience of their spiritual journey on earth um, and i know that having recovered from christian fundamentalism right um, I went through years of religious trauma recovery because they, psychiatrists have identified that it, that it creates complex PTSD or very complex trauma. So it's so deeply embedded in the psyche that a person is not even aware of it. And I remember when I was younger, I wasn't even aware that I was in very deep trauma mechanism responses. So if somebody would try to speak to me about any other wisdom tradition, I would, I would have a response. I would get retaliatory. I would try and get out of the conversation because if I were to listen or look at anything else meant I would go to hell, meant I would be outside of God's grace, right? So there's a deep programming that happens there and it creates a very fearful state of being deep in the nervous system, in the body and in the psyche, right? What is the other thing we know about the devil? The devil is the embodiment of fear, right? So the devil comes to divide and the devil brings fear. And these caveats in religious fundamentalism, my book, my interpretation and no one else's, literally creates separation and literally creates deep mechanisms of fear in the human psyche and spirit. So I leave it to you to decide. Um, but it's okay and there is a way to I have found my way back into my Christian tradition without these fundamentalist caveats and fear inducing doctrines, right? Um, it's a much longer video, but these were all in, sort of inputted into the Bible and are not actually part of the Christ teachings.